Hi everyone and welcome to another video in another week. If you're new here, thank you for joining. Welcome. And if you're not new, thank you for coming back. Please take a moment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And this week I decided to do something a little more personal, I guess. And I wanted to kind of talk about our homework we did every day. Um in eating disorder treatment. We had to do it every night um, for the next day um, to go over with therapists and in group. Um, and we would have a group and it would be um, after breakfast around nine where we would go over our homework um, person by person. And you could, you know, share as much as you want um, and not share as much as you want. And also like you could give feedback to other people um, and like support to other people. So there were, I'm going to go over, two of them are blank, um, but two of them I didn't have blank copies for, so you kind of see what I did. Um, so first is called the feeling umbrella. So you had seven days for the week, um, and you would pick a color of a positive feeling. Like you would pick a positive feeling you want to feel that day and a color that matches it. So, like, this is, like, a bright neon green for strength. Um, and then I also have, like, a lilac for calm. Um, so you would pick for that day what color you would want. Like, what feeling you would want, what color represents that. So that's the feeling umbrella we would do. Um, and this is the daily feeling check-in. So you would have a feeling that you would feel like you would write down the feelings you had for the day and you write down the situation that caused the feeling and then at the bottom you would do um you would list automatic thoughts you had throughout the day um the type of uh like black like um uh, irrational unhealthy thought that was like if it's all or nothing black or white thinking personalization what type of unhealthy thought it is and then a healthy truth to it so like you said no one loves me um i'm a piece of garbage um your healthy truth would be like i am loved um my mom tells me she loves me every day that type of thing um so we had to do that um this is one of my earlier pages and um i didn't put like what type of thought it was i just was was not into it when i first got there and just wrote down whatever i had to so didn't really put much effort into my first few worksheets. <laughs> um, I was kind of a little piece of poop, a little butthole those first few weeks out of the way for sure. <laughs> um, the next one is called, um, I guess it, there wasn't really no page call for this, but at the top you would kind of just journal about your day, um, just the main points about it, and then the moon model. So this is how much of your day was kind of taken up by your eating disorder thoughts. So there'd be a one, two, three, and four. One is kind of like one fourth of your day, 25% was taken up to realize that the eating disorder is present, but you're still able to make healthy choices. Two is kind of like half of your day. Um, and like it says literally on the page, you struggle about half the day with like the eating disorder thoughts and combating those and you know, urges and stuff. Um, so obviously three is kind of like three fourths of the day you struggled and you were pretty miserable and took up a lot of your day. Um, and then four, you pretty much struggled the whole day, all day with eating disorder thoughts. Um, whether that be, you used to feel like you couldn't get away from them. They were always there, always present. Um, so needless to say my first like month there, I was a pretty much four or three. Um, and then the next one is just some questions they wanted you to answer. Um, so the first one is, what did I learn about myself today? And that could be, you know, maybe like there was one day where I wrote like, I can get through a hard situation, like, and survive. Or like, I can eat a fear food and be alive the next day. Um, I can have a hard phone call with a loved one and everything turned out okay. Um, I can eat, you know, a bunch of pizza and still be fine. Um, that type of thing. Um, what did I allow my eating disorder to take from me? 
that um a lot of what we put was kind of like emotional things um like it took my strength it took like for me my peace of mind was a big one I wrote um but I also took like it took away me being there for my grandma's funeral um it took away some clients ability to be with their children um you know be around people for the holidays um be able to their like self-confidence was another one um and self-esteem were big ones that I wrote down um and then what are some things that I could do to prevent this in the future um I put you know really make the most out of the therapy I am given um really focus on the positives in life really focus on the harm the eating disorder really has done and try to be rational um and try to see clearly like how bad like the truth behind the eating disorder and that it's a security blanket but it's not a healthy one it's one that's going to end up tearing and going right from underneath me and leaving me in a pile of poop which it basically did i mean i was dying so <laughs> Um, and then what are three things you're grateful for? Obviously, that's pretty simple. You just write down three things you're grateful for. A lot of them was my dog, my fiance, my sister. And yeah. Um, and then some victories today included. Um, that was a little bit harder one for some people because like for me and a lot of people in eating disorder treatments with eating disorders, we don't see the victories we have as victories. Um, like eating a fear food doesn't seem like a victory um making it through that snack doesn't seem like a victory making it through our individual session um some of those things that we don't see it that oh oh as i want to say hi as i want to say some of those things can you say hi can you say hi some of those things we don't see as victories but others do and then we also have a hard time trying to <coughs> We feel self-centered when we say anything good about ourselves. Well, for me, um, and I found this common with a lot of people with eating disorders, um, but also obviously with those that don't. But for me, saying to myself right now, um, I guess I can say to everybody, um, it feels self-centered to say anything good about myself. So like saying, I did this feels good. Um, so that was a little bit of a harder one. Um, but like I wrote down, you know, like, I ate a piece of cheesecake. Um, I cried during many of the session and opened up. I, you know, participated in art therapy group. I didn't hide the almonds that they wanted to. I listened to staff when they redirected me at the table, those type of things. Um, so those are the four worksheets. We had to do them like every night. Um, and then we would go with them around 9 o'clock in the morning with the therapist for our opening group um, and kind of go through them. Sometimes we only had to share our top three from the group depending on the time frame and how many clients we had. And the therapist might have been like 20 minutes late, might not have full time. Um, but that is what mm -hmm. it is. Um, <clears throat> that was kind of something we did. I mostly did it at like 6 a.m. the next morning because I would wake up at, we would get weighed <laughs> and our vitals and ketones and all that. And I'm like, well, fall back to bed for like that half hour before we were able to shower so I just did it then so yeah but that is like mm -hmm. homework we had um so yeah thank you for watching please subscribe love you all and stay safe